गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई टूडे माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर विकास थर्ड इयर रेजिडेंस इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन पंडित बी डी शर्मा पी जी आई एम एस रोहतक माई टूडे टॉपिक इज क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर आइडेंटिफिकेशन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर आइडेंटिफिकेशन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इन द नंबर इलेवन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इज एन एक्ट टू ऑथोराइज फॉर टेकिंग मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ कन्विक्ट एंड अदर पर्सन for the purpose of identification and investigation in the criminal matter and to preserve record and for the matters connected therewith and incidental thereto there is an act before the criminal procedure identification act that is known as a prisoner act which came in 1920 and it replaces the identification of prisoner act 1920 the identification of prisoner act 1920 allows police officer to collect certain identifiable identifiable information like fingerprint and footprint of the person including convict and arrested persons also a magistrate may order measurements of photograph of a person to be taken to add the investigation of an offense in case of acquittal or discharge of a person all the material must be destroyed there have been advances in the technology that allow other measurement to be used for criminal investigation the dna technology <coughs> used and application that was in 2019 still pending in the lok sabha provided a framework for using dna technology for its purpose what are the key feature of the criminal procedure identification act 2022 it include the the type of data that may be collected the person from whom such data may be collected and the authority that may authorize such collections is also provide for the data to be stored in central database under both the 1920 act and the 2022 act the resistance or refusal to give data will be considered as an offense of obstructing a public servant from doing his duty under section 186 of indian penal code no suits or any other proceedings shall lie against any person for anything done or intending to be done in good faith under this act or any rules made there under <clears throat> the national crime the national crime record bureau and cbrb will be the central agency to maintain the record it will share the data with the law enforcement as law enforcement agencies further state and union territories may notify agency to collect preserve and share data in their respective jurisdictions the data collected will be retained in digital or electronic forms for 75 years the record will be destroyed in case of persons who are acquitted after all appeals or released without trials however in such cases a court or magistrate may direct the retention of details after recording reasons in writing what are the key difference between the prisoner act 1920 act and the criminal procedure identification act 2022 what are the data permitted in the prisoner act 1920 the measurement will which will be taken is are the finger finger impression footprint impression and the photograph in now 2022 act the measurement includes finger impression palm print impression footprint impression photographs iris and the retina scan physical biological samples and their analysis behavior attributes including signature sand writing or any other examination under section 53 and 53 of criminal procedure code 1973 includes blood semen hair samples and swab and analyze such as dna profile who are the person whose data may be collected under the act 1920 act the convicted or arrested person for any offense punishable with rigorous imprisonment for a term of 1 year or more or any offense which would render him liable to enhanced punishment on a subsequent conviction what are the change in 2022 the convicted or arrested person for any offense punishable under any law for the time being in force however biological sample may be taken forcibly only from the person arrested for offense against a woman or a child or if the offense carries a minimum of 7 year imprisonment in 1920 the person Order to give security for his good behavior under Section One One Seven of Criminal Procedure Code or maintaining peace. In twenty twenty two, a person detained under any preventive detention law. In nineteen twenty, magistrate may order in 
other cases collection from any arrested person to add in the criminal investigation or in 2022 on the order of magistrate for any person not just an arrested person to add and expertise the investigation in 1920 investigation officer officer in charge of a police station or ranks an inspector above whereas in act 2022 the officer in charge of a police station or an officer not below the rank of head constable and officer of a prison not below the rank of head warden what are the meaning of magistrate in 1920 act the magistrate of first class in 2022 magistrate means in relation to metropolitan area the metropolitan magistrate in any other area judicial magistrate of the first class in relation to ordering someone to give security for his good behavior or maintaining peace the executive magistrate can order what is the chronology of criminal procedure identification act in 1980 the law commission of india while examining the 1920 act had noted the need to revise it to bring it in the line with modern trend in the criminal investigation in march 2003 the expert committee on the reform of criminal justice system that is chair uh, the chairperson of this committee dr justice vs malimath recommended amending the 1920 act to empower the magistrate to authorize the collection of data such as blood samples for dna hair saliva and the same therefore the criminal procedure identification act number no. 11 of 2020 has come into force on 18 april 2022 that has replaced the identification of prisoner act 1920 what are the issue to be considered whether the act violates the right to the privacy the act permits the collection of certain identific identifiable information about the individual for the investigation of the crime the information specified under the act form part of the personal data of the individual and thus protected under the right to the privacy of the individuals the right to privacy has been recognized as a fundamental right by the supreme court of india in 2017 in case of justice case putta swami retired versus union of india civil number 494 <coughs> of 2012 supreme court of india august 24 2017 the court laid out principle that should govern any law that restrict this right this these include a public purpose a rational nexus of the law with such purpose and that this is the least intrusive way to achieve the purpose that is the infringement of a privacy must be necessary for and proportionate to that of purpose the act may fail this test this test on the several parameter the right of pri- right of privacy is protected as an intrinsic part of the life right to the life and personal liability under the article 21 of the constitution of the india and as a part of freedom guaranteed by the part 3 of constitutions the issue arises to the fact that the data can be collected not just from the convicted person but also from the person arrested for any offense and from any other person to add in in the investigation the data collected does not need to have any relationship with the evidence required for the case the data is stored in a central database which can be accessed widely and, and not just in the case file the data is stored for 75 year that means effectively for the whole life the safeguard have been diluted by lowering the level of official authorized to collect the data thank you